good morning. We are going to be working today on one of my favorites, context clues and Greek and Latin word parts to determine word meaning. So it's kind of like you can be an investigator, if you will, um, kind of like a private investigator to look for what the word, words mean. Um, so if you know your word parts, your Greek parts, your Latin parts, you can pretty much figure out what anything actually means. So we're going to take a look at this. It's an exciting lesson. Um, the first context clue I can give you, sometimes you can take the word apart. Maybe there's a prefix or a suffix or a root part of the word that you recognize. Um, like if you look at this example, Marion may not show up for basketball practice. She can be undependable. Of course, you know that depend means that you, you know what the word depend means. And the prefix un, you know, means not. And the suffix able means able to. So you know that the word dependable means not able to depend on. So if they're not able to be depended on, they're undependable. Let's take a look at context clue number two. Sometimes the author uses a synonym, kind of a sneaky attack. You recognize that the, um, the author will have an A or or and commas surrounding it, like Frank did his chores. He wanted nothing to jeopardize, comma, hinder, his meeting friends tonight. So you know then that jeopardize is a synonym. It means the very same thing as hinder. Number three, they might use an antonym. They might have not, rather, nor, or yet um, to distinguish the difference between words. So example would be, you're to paint the exterior not the interior of the house. So that lets you know that exterior must mean the outside of the house. Context clue number four, you could also contrast, which is similar to antonyms, um, but there might be several sentences of contrast. It might not just be a one word deal. Um, clue words introduced in contrast um, might include instead, but, on the other hand, however, though, and others. Here's an example sentence. The team became deadlocked, but with more hours of discussion, they came up with a plan. So you know that deadlock must mean the opposite or must mean they came up with a, a um came to a standstill because finally they came to a, up with a plan, so they moved forward. So deadlocked must mean a standstill. Cause and effect is another way, and this kind of ties in with our text structure lesson. Um, clue words are gonna be because, so, since, therefore, then, as a result of, same clue words that you have for cause and effect. Because she was so modest, she went unnoticed at the party. So the word modest must have something to do with not being noticed. Let's look at number six. Um, you can sometimes, the author might use sequence to help identify the word meaning. In Great Britain, we call a place, that place a quad or prison, a prison or jail cell. So you know what the word there quad means. Mood and tone can also help you figure out the word meaning. The soldier had committed a crime, so he was discharged from the Navy. The word discharge must have a negative uh, connotation because he's committed a crime. So you know it's not good to be discharged. Okay, now we're gonna see how well we do. Um, with these. I have 21 different examples, and I want you to look at the sentence, decide on its meaning using all the context clues that we gave you, and um, your affixes, and then you write, select your choice, and write down your answer. So let's take a look at the first one. Number one, you're going to either write down A, B, or C. The teacher asks the students to contribute their ideas for consideration or we would not have anything to discuss. So what do you think contribute means? To write down their ideas, to allow their ideas, to furnish their ideas. Sit up, Sam, do not slouch. 
So if we're saying to sit up, that must be the opposite of slouch. So if sitting up is the opposite of drooping posture, yawn, or cheat. Students who are honest, reliable, and hardworking do well in their classes. So what does the word reliable mean? Alert, able to be depended on, or caring. One regulation is to park our cars in the other lot. That rule allows for customer parking close by the business. Irritation, what is a regulation? A rule or law uh, or problem or irritation? I paved the parking lot. Now we must wait until it dries. So does paved mean cover the surface of, painted the top or cured? The red clay dirt was dense, not easily workable. I could not plant in that area. So if you can't plant something, it's not easily workable and it's dense. Does dense mean wet and soggy, mostly sand or pack, packed tightly together? Number seven, placing all 20 pencils in a basket made them more portable. If you put something into a basket, it makes it more portable. Does that mean more easily carried? a landing or able to be locked. Number eight, it's required that all tests be turned in simultaneously at exactly the same time. Okay, so that one is, it has a synonym, not a synonym, but it has um, a comp compare here. This is to compare it in a few minutes to the teacher or occurring at the same time. When the edge of the knife becomes blunt, not sharp, you can borrow my tool. So blunt must mean not sharp, chipped, dull, or razor sharp. Young man, if you are tardy once more, you will pay the price. So what do you think tardy means? Coming to school late, paying a better price. Number 11, if the client asks for a better price, tell them I will think about it. So is the client the customer, the guest, or the chef? Who would be asking for a better price? Number 12, my job as your troop leader is to give you guidance, support, and character building activities. So what do you think guidance is? Hope, is the troop leader giving hope, direction, or faith? The wall color was subtle. I wanted bold colors like gold and red. So subtle must be bright, faint, or delicate, childlike, delicate and faint. The doctor called in my mother's prescription. Okay, you know a doctor calls in something, it's going to be a prescription. Is that their bill? their written order for medication, or is it a personal note? You can purchase jewelry that is invaluable. Remember, we break our word apart. This one is giving us some, um, some uh, Greek and, and um, Latin roots. So in means not valuable, adequate, or even inexpensive. So what type of jewelry are you buying? Precious jewelry, clunky jewelry, cheap jewelry. Number 16, of course, the hurricane could devastate our city, but we remain optimistic, confused, scared, or hopeful. If you show him that you are vulnerable, the tiger will surely attack you. So you don't have a lot of context here. You have to know a little bit about tigers. Does vulnerable mean if you show him that you're strong, he'll attack you. If you show him that you're weak, he will attack you. Or if you show him that you're friendly, he will attack you. Why are you disrupting the class once again? Jason, a discipline referral is in my hand. So if Jason is discipline, disrupting and he's getting a discipline referral to go to the principal, disrupting, does it mean making it to? 
studying with or interrupting. And a lot of times you will see the base word there that has the same, you see that rupt in both of those. Number 19, the student's project was unattractive to anyone's eyes. Not pleasing, not original, or without color. Here, you don't have context clues. You need to know that un means not, attractive means it looks good. If something's attractive, it's good looking. So this means not good looking, not pleasing. Told y'all one. Um, number 20, her wedding gown was exquisite. Look at all the detail. Too extreme, simply made, or elaborately made. And finally, the student did not conform to conventional behavior. His behavior was not acceptable. So conventional behavior must be acceptable behavior. Generally accepted. I gave y'all another one. Okay. So I hope that you have enjoyed and I hope that you have learned something about how to figure out words. I've given you some clues, some strategies, and we've gone over several of these to um, hopefully reinforce the ways that you can figure out what a word means by using the context around it and by using those um, Greek and Latin affixes. Thank you.